In this video, we are going to be making an origami king. We can make three of them to represent the legendary three kings. This is Leila Torres of origamispirit.com. To make each king, we need one piece of paper. We are going to begin with the white side facing up. Visit our website, origamispirit.com, to see our related blog posts and for more creative ideas on how to use origami. To signify the king that is from Africa, we are going to use the same paper, but we begin with the color side facing up. This will be the color of the face and the beard. We fold in half corner to corner. We make a vertical valley fold at the center. Unfold. We are going to be making a fold along here, horizontal fold, by bringing this point to match the vertical crease. And how far we go is about one third this distance. Visually locate one, two, three, about here. So it can be longer or shorter. Repeat here. The beard and face will be light color, and here it will be dark color. Make a valley fold along here, and it's uh, parallel to the folded edge. And it's just a little hem that we want, so about there. We take the folded edge and fold down, just a short little bit. We repeat here. We are going to be making a fold about here, another horizontal valley fold, by bringing this point to touch this edge. Now we make another valley fold along here by bringing this edge to, to actually meet this edge and I like to make it a little bit beyond so that it overlaps a tiny bit with the hem. So later on, the hem layer will trap the color layer. We unfold and we are going to reverse some of those folds. The first one will remain the same, valley fold on the white side. The middle one becomes a mountain fold and the top one, the shorter one, becomes a valley fold. And we rearrange so that we create the crown. We reinforce this vertical central crease as a mountain fold through all layers. We locate this corner at the top and from there we are going to be making a vertical fold, mountain fold, all the way to this edge and we can actually turn it over and do a valley fold on this side. From here to here. It's going to be vertical, so the folded edge matches itself. Mountain fold. And we repeat here. This corner might be going beyond this fold, or might just be exactly at that point. We are going to take one of these flaps and insert it inside the other. It's a tab and the other is a packet. And we can make them coincide. Sometimes it's not going to lie flat, so don't worry about it. It depends on how long we have made the beard. 
And once they are matching one inside the other, we are going to make a fold, a mountain fold, coming from this corner down to the folded edge. If we look from above, we can see that it's like a box. And we can come back to the front and actually make sure that the edge of the crown is trapped under the hem.